Hi guys, so I got the flu last week, which no one likes, but it's made me think a lot, it's made me research more, and I always come out of it with a new lease of life. So what I wanted to speak about in this video is simply what to do with your training when you've been sick. So let's assume that we have a tank. When we train, we take reserves out of that tank. Okay, this is live, this happens all the time. The harder the session, then the more we take out of that tank, the more reserves we take out. To fill that tank back up, we need to fill it back up with things such as sleep, good nutrition, other recovery tools, maybe infrared sauna, massage, ice baths, some downtime, some happy time, some play, some joy, some quiet time, some meditation. Okay, there's a lot of things that we can fill it back up with. These things that we fill it back up with are gonna be different from person to person and they're going to be different at different times. So let's say we've been sick. Basically, by being sick, we've taken a lot out of the tank. So what we need to do before we jump back into things is to fill that tank back up. We need to increase those reserves again. So then we need to look at how sick were you? Did you just come down with a little bit of a head cold and a bit of a sniffle? Or were you flawed for a week? Were you out of action for three weeks? So the more that sickness took you out of action, then the more time we should spend filling up the tank again. Otherwise, we're just drawing on an empty tank. And that is a recipe for disaster in the long term. So hopefully that makes sense. The main crux of the situation is that we should be doing this all the time. Where we take out of the tank, whether it's with a hard session on Monday, whether it's with a hard week, then we need to be putting back into that tank. And we want to be proactive with this. Ideally, if we are proactive with it, it means that we're not going to be flawed as often and we don't need to go into reactive mode where we're trying to play catch up. So have a think about how you put back into your tank and how often you put back and what you put back is also determined by not just your training but other stresses in your life how busy, how stressed, how much perceived stress you have with your work, what's going on in your relationships, your training age, your actual biological age, your goals at the moment. There's so many different variables, but if you understand the main crux of needing to put back into the tank before we can draw out of the tank, then you're gonna be better off long-term. Hopefully that makes sense, guys. See you soon.